Okay, welcome back everybody. So in this uh, video, we're going to go ahead and script the car so it'll take damage. So if you, you need to select the car and then double click on, on the script, car script, and have it open up in model develop. And then what we're going to do is uh, let's go ahead and make some, uh, make some space below the public float void, make some space, and we're going to add a uh, public int max life equals three, and a uh, public float min speed equals 10f and public float max speed equals 30f and we're going to create a public float called uh, collision time And then a uh, public game object model. And then next, we're going to create a private private int current life. Private bool, private bool, call collided equals false, and a static int collided value. And again, like I said, if uh, if for for those of you that are not understanding code, no worries. This is just a, this is a simple uh, small tutorial. To, to just make this game. Uh, if you want to learn more uh, about what I'm doing, uh, you can click on the Amazon affiliate, affiliate links below in the description, and it will take you to some uh, some some good reading material on um, on uh, C sharp and creating games for Unity. So moving on. And backspace a little bit because it's too much, uh, too much space. Okay, uh, next inside uh, the start, uh, we're going to create a uh, we're going to call it the current life equals max life. Then speed equals min speed. All right, and then collided value. Value equals shader dot property ID. If it pops up, this press enter. Parentheses. Inside parentheses, put two quotations. Then we're going to do underscore collided value. And make sure that is uh, all capitalized, just like so. And then, um, then next, uh, we're going to create a, a on trigger enter method. So if we go below here, below the update, uh, you're gonna we're gonna create private void on trigger enter parentheses collider. other. All right. Press enter. Create two um, curly braces. 
And inside the curve braces, we're going to type if. If collided. If collided. Clear braces. Return. And with a semicolon. And then, uh, then below this, create another if statement. If parentheses other dot compare tag compare tag parentheses inside of parentheses uh, quotations obstacle and uh, some other curly braces more curly braces by by there. And tab it over, type in current life minus minus. What that means is just like how we have I plus plus, as you saw before, minus minus takes away the, the life. All right, and then next speed equals zero. That means it just turns off the speed. All right. And then uh, below the on trigger enter, I'm going to create uh, something called an I enumerator. So you're going to do I enumerator. Don't have to enter in, just find it. I enumerator collided float time. Enter, curly braces. And then in there, go so collided equals true float timer equals zero. Then float current collision equals one F. Then float last float, float last collision equals zero and float sorry float collision period equals 0.1 F for the semicolon. Then uh, we're going to create a bull enabled equals false. Semicolon. Then enter it twice. Press enter twice. Then we're going to create a yield. I'll wait for seconds. So this will be yield return turn new wait for seconds parentheses inside parentheses type one F close it with a semicolon speed after that speed equals min speed semicolon then we're gonna type a while loop so it's going to be while timer greater than time and two ampersands. The ampersands are the, if you hold down shift and press seven, those are the ampersands. And collided. Two curve braces. Inside curve braces, put model dot set active enable. I'm sorry, inside set active type enable semicolon. Then next yield return null semicolon, and then press enter. You go, we're going to timer, 
plus minus, I mean, no plus minus, plus, plus equals time dot delta time, semicolon, enter, uh, last, last collision, plus equals another time dot delta dot time, next show, and it was semicolon, and then we're going to create an if statement inside of it, if collision Collisions period, if con con collision period is greater than last collision, parentheses, not parentheses, curly braces, inside curly braces, type in last collision equals zero, and then current collision equals. 1f minus current collision. Now it's a semicolon. Enabled equals not enabled. Not enabled means uh, exclamation mark enabled. All right. And then, uh, then after that, Press enter. Uh, go uh, go over here and press enter. So you'll still be inside the I enumerator and we're outside the while and, and if statement. And then you're going to type in model dot set active parentheses true semicolon and then type in collided equals false. All right. And then under the uh, enumerator, so press enter after this, we're going to create, uh, we're going to increase the speed. So type public void increase speed Parentheses, front, uh, semicolon, I'm not semicolon, <laughs> parentheses and curly braces, speed times the asterisk equals 1.15F. And then uh, we're going to create an if statement. So if parentheses, speed is greater than. No, I'm sorry, less than equals max speed curly okay, braces speed equals max speed and then with the with the the semicolon. And then we're gonna go back to to on trigger the on trigger enter. So once you get all this, all this down, um, go to untrigger enter. All right. And then below the speed, uh, be below um, uh, the if statement. And below speed, we're going to add uh, if statement of if parentheses current life is greater than equals to zero. Curly braces.
equals zero. Else, curly braces. We're going to call the coroutine that we just started the I numerator. It's actually a coroutine. We're going to call that. So it's going to be start, 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 coroutine, parentheses, collided. Parentheses, collision, collision time, close semicolon. All right, then go ahead and save. If you don't have no errors, if, but first, actually, before we even do, because if we're basically if we press play, uh, we're not going to see it work. So basically, what you need to do is go to your prefabs, select uh, the optical prefab, one of the optical prefab, and basically you're going to go to uh, tag on here, create add tag, and we're going to call this obstacle. Hit save, and then select it again. Select obstacle one, obstacle two, obstacle three, and select obstacle. All right. And then from the obstacle, after you select the obstacles, actually go uh, into each one and uh, select the arrow here. Select the model and make sure. Is trigger selected on all of them? I already have them already selected, but make sure that is trigger selected so it so this will work. All right. Okay, and then once that's done, uh, press play, and and it should stop. It should hit it. Go through, stop, hit it, go through, and then on the third time to stop, and then that's it. All right, because in the next, in the next video, where what we're going to do is we're going to create the uh, UI, the graphical user interface, to show the health. All right, and uh, don't forget in the uh, in the, the description uh, if you want to learn more. Uh, you can click on my Amazon affiliate links, and then that will take you to uh, uh, some uh, some some books or or ebooks on how to make games with Unity and to understand more with coding.